Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. It's thunderstormy today, rumble of thunder when we were doing morning chores, and chance of thunderstorms all day long. Given the weather forecast, what I thought I'd do today is work on this third bay of the barn and get it ready to pull equipment in. I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way. Cattle panels and hog panels. And And these feeder panels need to come out. Here's what I'm dealing with lag bolts into the posts. You know what? You're supposed to come out. There we go. The bulls are in the bay next door, just hanging out, watching what's going on. Number two. Gotta get the Super C out of here. Take it up to the upper barn and swap it out for another tractor. This is the one I want. Coffee break. <laughs> I've been thinking about this 656 because I plan on restoring it next. And uh, I have a fresh C263 gas engine to replace this diesel with that I rebuilt. I went completely through everything on that engine, put a lot of money into it six or seven years ago, and then put in this diesel because I thought that this was going to be my main field work tractor, run hours on end. The D282s that are in this, the, the diesel is really good on fuel and I just like the idea of having a diesel. But now with the changing use of the tractors with the 756 and 856 working out in the fields, this tractor is mainly going to be on hay bale moving duty and manure load, loading duty and we'll have to start during the winter easily. And geez, I got that engine up in the barn. I thought, I think I'll just put that in there. Put the gas engine in there. Why not? I don't. It seems like a good idea to me. I guess these are going two at a time because that's all the lip on my loader buckle will handle. And then we'll come back and get the third one. I'm just gonna leave these leaning against this pile of topsoil for now. Kind of leaning. Whatever works. We'll go ahead and dump.
Here's a rundown of what's going on here. As you probably know, this barn's becoming an equipment storage barn. All five bays in the end. And I'm kind of gradually loading stuff in here. I expect we're going to rearrange it when we get all five bays cleared out. But we've got lumber, the farm lumber yard stacked all against here. And balers and tractors in the first two bays, which are done. This bay that's got the bulls in is going to stay this way for another six or seven weeks. Orton's going outside this week when we sort the herd and start breeding season, but Titus is going to stay in here with a couple cows for him to breed. I got to grade this whole area off, lose that pile of topsoil, and I'm going to seed this with grass. These feeder panels that I stuck here for now are going in here into the upper barn. And once we get all this remaining junk out of here, the livestock panels are going to go all the way through here, and then there's going to be a little man gate at the end there to get through and into the cattle pen. And of course this new addition here that's filled with tractors and the wood wagon right now will be the cattle's winter quarters. One of the things I've taken away from this whole project is it's intricate. It's like when I used to do work in public schools and we'd have to figure out how to move things around while the school was being occupied and used. We're using our farm for livestock of course and we gotta work around the schedule for the livestock to get things rearranged winds up being a lot of steps. But the next step is to clean all the remaining bits of manure out of this bay and put stone in it. And step one of that process is a little hand clean up around the edges. Dry manure. Well, I think I need a shovel. Petrified cow turds. That is good enough for me. It was a lot of work. I got a hole right over here that the bulls dug, doing bull stuff. So I gotta fill that in. As well as putting just a couple inches of stone over this whole floor to clean it up mostly because there's stone underneath here. There's probably six or eight inches of it already.
and along the edges. This looks pretty good, but I let it dry out for a day or so, and for some reason I can see low spots better when it's dried out, and I'll come back and smooth it another day and finish it up. I'd say that's a fine place to leave that tractor. Blinky blink. Why don't pirates take a shower before they walk the plank? You know, I've been thinking about this for years and I could never figure out the answer. And the answer is because they can just wash up on shore. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. No, no. Well, it turned out to be a pretty nice day today. It hasn't rained at all. I have to go out here and prepare facilities for the cattle. This field looks good and ready to graze again, but I've got to put the temporary fence back up before they come in. Well, it looks like the cattle are not here to yell at me. They must be down in the other field. I can't see them. In order to let them into this field, this year I have to take down this temporary fence that we put up until the permanent fence goes in. Not a big deal, it only takes me a few minutes. If Patty were here though, she'd be telling me to hurry up about now. She keeps me on my toes. All set, let's go find the cattle. There's only one field that I haven't clipped or made hay off of this year yet, and it's this one. Everything else is done. Well, I see them over the hill. They'll let me know when they see me. <laughs> I think they see me. Here they come all running. I think I'll just stand right here. Come on, cows! Come on, cows! Turn the corner. Yes, I'm gonna take you to new pasture. Well, come on, guys! What a motley crew you are. Let's go. These guys are to the point now, they're so well trained, that they tell me when they want new pasture, when I come out in the morning to check their water, they'll grumble at me and say, we're kind of running out of pasture, and if I don't move them that day, the next day they'll say, we're running out of pasture. 
That's what they did this morning. They say, this is too complicated. Well, you come over this way. You're the smart cookie, you get the prize. Nope. He's got company. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> He's happy. These guys are a little confused. Calves get that way. I might have to call them around. This is the slow class. Come on, guys. You guys got to go over that way. Let's go. Go ahead. You got to find the gate. Come on. You goofy calves. Come on. You know where to go. You goofballs. Come on. Let's go. You too. Holy walnuts, how are you? Now you guys are going that way. I give up. We'll try this again. Come on, go. Go back that way. Go on, go on, come on. You guys are sticky. You run that way. Yeah, you gotta go around. Go, come on, go, come on. You guys go that way. Follow your mates. Come on. Go. 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 <laughs> you got the idea. Just you two now. <sighs> Fences are just kind of a guideline for calves. So if they want to go through, they'll go through. You guys are full of pepper today. Now you can go back over there and get all confused again. Here they come back around. Beautiful pasture this time of year. Here come the two back up from the woods. Goofy calves. Tulip, you're a nice looking cow. You're a good eater, that's for sure. Those of you that have watched this channel for any period of time know I'm not a stockpiled forage guy. And this is the reason. I took them off this pasture probably three weeks ago, the last time they grazed it, and it's right back to prime grazing condition. If I were stockpiling forage, it'd get up to seed height and poop out. And it'd just sit there. I can put out a lot more forage on my pastures, grow a lot more every year if I keep them in this prime growing state instead of just leaving them. So I would never do that, and particularly with the species we grow. By the time they go to seed, they become much less palatable and much less nutritious. Take it for hay, store it and feed it, or put them right on it in prime growth phase. And the result is this, as long as you get a decent amount of rainfall in the summer, it keeps growing like this and is very energy dense. Hey Coco, you're a head bucker, I know. A couple things before I close out this video. I've been getting lots of viewers coming to see me at Farmer's Market on Saturdays. I'm only there on Saturdays at the Ithaca Farmer's Market. Most days I have a line for a good part of the day. People that come from across the country sometimes, overseas sometimes. It's great, it's great. I love meeting viewers and talking to them. And so if you've come to do that, I thank you. It was great meeting you. I wanted to let you know that I won't be at the Ithaca Farmers Market three Saturdays coming up. And the first is this Saturday, July 29th. I have a personal obligation then. And I won't be at the Farmers Market Saturday, August 12th or Saturday, August 26th. 
That first weekend in August is the Pageant of Steam in Canandaigua, which we go to every year. I'll be there two days. I think it occurs between the 9th and the 12th of August. I don't know which two days. I'll let you know as we get closer. Usually I just pick two nice weather days to go. And then the second weekend in August, the 23rd through the 26th, me and the kids will be in Rantoul, Illinois at the Half Century of Progress show. And I'll have more updates on meetup locations, etc. for that, for those that you, uh, for those of you that can make it out there. I hope you have a great day. The wind's picking up. I, it still might thunderstorm. There's a black cloud right over there. I'll see you next time.